Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you guys had a smashing time. And today I'm going to be releasing the results of the survey that I've created for Evil Dead the game. As you guys know, we don't get anything from Saber in terms of data. So I thought, well, let's create our own data and let's see what the results we get. Now, as you guys know, I don't have a huge reach, but I try to promote the survey as best I could. And in the end, we've got a total of 312 responses. So the survey was mainly published on Discord and on Reddit and I also put a link on YouTube. The people who voted for this are mainly people who are engaged in the social communities of the game and also in YouTube. And I know the game sold a huge amount of copies but I just don't have that reach. But anyway we have just over 300 people who voted and that gives us probably enough just to have a bit of a feel on which characters have the most played, what's the percentage of people who play demon and who play survivors. Let's crack on with it. The first question we had was how long have you been playing Evil Dead the game? So the people involved in the communities are people that have been playing the game since launch. That's crazy. So 64% of the respondents have been playing since launch. And then we've got 21% who got it just after launch, including me. Only 9% of people in the communities got it for free on the Epic Store. Finally, 4% got it on sale in the last month or so. And we have another 4% there who got the game in another time that is not listed here. This is dedication. These are people who really like the game and really want the game to succeed despite all that's going on with the game at the moment. So some interesting data here. The second second question was who do you main? Are you a demon main? Are you a survivor main? Or do you play both equally? 17% of people are only playing demon. 54% of people are playing survivor. Now almost 30% of people are playing both equally. If we split those 29% in two, you kind of get a 25 to 75% ratio to demon and survivor. And because there's five players in the game, the ratio should actually be 20% to demon and 80% to survivors. So that does make me think that a lot of demon players kind of just quit the game because of the state of it at the moment. The third question was, if you play demon, who do you playing with mainly? Now, I'm going to start with the amount of people who don't play demon, which is 25%. So 25% of the respondents do not touch demon. And then we have the demon with the most amount of votes, which is Necromancer. Everybody's saying, go and play Plaguebringer because she's the meta, she's the best. She's actually the least picked demon out of the people who are engaged in the social communities. And I found that very interesting. Even Warlord gets more picks than Plaguebringer. To be fair, I quite like Warlord. I know she's not the best demon at the moment, but I do really enjoy the games with Warlord. And Necromancer, I just find Necromancer super fun as well. The whole thing with the summoning of the skeletons and then the resurrection of the skeletons and you just being able to just have so many units on the map at the same time. I just find that super fun. And also being able to drop the flutist, set up kind of an ambush for the survival I think that's that can be super fun. So I'm not totally surprised to see that Necromancer is at the top of the demons picked. I am surprised that people keep saying Plaguebringer is the matter and yet she's not the most picked. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Fourth question is if you play or have played Survivor, who do you play with mainly? Now this kept changing as the days went by, but from the very, very start, this has remained very similar, which is Leader Ash at the top. There was times the Cheryl was at the top, but Warrior Ash also very close. So the five top pick for survivors are Leader Ash with 12%, Warrior Ash with 11%, Cheryl with 11%, Scotty with 9%, and then Hunter Ash with 8%. And I found this is so interesting and I always knew that Cheryl had a huge pick rate. And then who are at the bottom, we kind of knew, right? The least picked survivor is Blacksmith. And I have to say, I see more Blacksmiths than I see voted here. I actually see a lot more. I was expecting a little bit higher, but I guess people just don't main Blacksmith, but they do play with him because they want to level him up and whatnot. Now we all knew that David was at the bottom, at right? the very bottom, because you rarely see a David and I just can't believe they nerfed him on the last patch but there it is and then also amanda she's at the bottom at the moment and she's always kind of been at the bottom apart from when the game launched which she was completely broken and she was doing stupid damage now what i find surprising here is one that ed is at the bottom five like 
Ed is really good. He's got a really good kit and he really favors the team with his kit. So I don't understand how he can be at the bottom. And another one, I think is not too surprising, but Henry is at the bottom five. And I think it's because Henry has been nerfed so bad, but I still see a lot of Henry's out there. So obviously this makes me just question a little bit the survey because the number of responders are not huge anyway, but this kind of gives us an idea of where the numbers kind of are. I wonder if the devs will be able to watch this video and just comment on it, see if you know people are right or not. Uh, it would be great to have some real data from the devs. But let me know what you guys think about this one as well. Fifth question, what's your user level? So the great majority of people who are playing the game are below level 300. This is what the data is telling us and this is really interesting because if almost 90% of people who are playing the game and are heavily engaged on the social communities are below level 300 and then out of the total number of respondents 64% of those are playing the game since launch that tells me that the grand majority of people are casual players which is some really interesting data as well I'm definitely a casual player I can only play maybe three or four times a week and whenever I play is like one or two hours so I can only really get three games per session on average right out of the respondents on question number five only five of them so two percent are above level 500 and ten percent of them are between level 300 and 500 and then finally the last question how many prestige five characters have you got not too surprised about this one but 78 percent of people don't have any characters prestige 5 myself included i've got i think puppeteer prestige 1 and kelly prestige 1 and that's about it I, nobody else prestige and then we have 15 percent of the respondents who have one character prestige 5 5 percent of the respondents two characters prestige 5 and then only three percent of the respondents who have three or more characters who are prestige 5 so I guess this shows us how inefficient the prestige system is and how probably unfair, at least I feel, that I've been playing so much that I've, been, that I've played this game almost since launch and I don't have any Prestige 5 characters. However, the Prestige system does benefit people who have started playing the game now because as they level up the characters, they are completing the challenges. So by the time they reach level 25, they already got probably all the challenges completed and they can go straight to level 26 and then reset the level. It becomes a more efficient Prestige system. But how annoying it is that you've played this game for six months casually and you really haven't got anywhere and then people who have started playing the game for the last month they've already got a character who is prestige 3 and you think how is this possible and i know some of you are saying why didn't we have the prestige system from launch but i guess the devs never thought about it before but let me know what you guys think down in the comments so guys these are the numbers i wonder what you guys are thinking of all this i want to thank everyone who has participated on the survey i really appreciate it and i'm sure more people will appreciate that you guys have joined in if you enjoyed this video guys please drop me a like and subscribe for more content like this. Stay well and I'll see you all next time.